Being a millennial to me means and there's not this pressure to be this thing or that thing. It's like you be whoever you want. Um, and I feel like that's a freedom that black people haven't always had to kind of choose their own identity. And now we have it. Being from Baltimore, Maryland, I definitely wanted to get away for college and, and experience something new. So that's what brought me to Temple University. I had a routine of going to uh, my local comic shop in Center City, Philadelphia. And there was a coffee shop across the street called Crimson Moon that I would go to after I went to the comic book store and that started my comic coffee routine, um, which would eventually give me the idea for uh, Amalgam. Going a traditional nine to five route was never really an option for me. It's, it sounds weird to say, it's like being, being an accounting major, there's a lot of pressure to be corporate focused. I was just kind of caught in a cycle that didn't allow me to be who I am. There were some things that, that, that happened in my life. I, uh, I lost my mom um, uh, around that time and so that got me to thinking about just life differently. Being a black woman owning my own businesses, um, I do believe I've had challenges. So I'm dealing with people who are the opposite of me in every way. Um, I feel like they can't necessarily relate to me on any level. The thing that initially attracted me to comics specifically uh, was Storm of the X-Men. And I saw this black, white-haired, white-eyed woman flying around shooting lightning at people and making tornadoes. And I was like, who, I was like, who is this? Like, I, I, I had never seen a, a black woman superhero up until that point. So she really just kind of grabbed me from the, the get-go. I think it's important for audiences to see black superheroes because, first of all, for black audiences, just seeing characters that look like themselves, see, seeing characters who are taking charge, who are in the lead, who are not, who's not someone else's sidekick. Common misconceptions about millennials, I, I, I don't know, I feel like the, the older generation thinks we're lazy, we don't want to work, we want everything for free, we don't want to settle down, um, which is just not true. It's like we just, you know, we, our environment looks different. I think the uh, general feeling of millennials not wanting to work traditional jobs are because, uh, maybe just because jobs aren't what they used to be. You know, for, for the baby boomers, for our parents and their parents, it was a thing where you, you had a job, you stayed with that company for 30 years or 60 years, whatever. When you retire, you have a pension, you have this, you have that. And we don't have those same securities in our jobs now. The advice I would give to other millennials that want to follow their dream is um, to just do it. If you have a grander idea of what you want to do, figure out how you can start small to kind of build your name, build your brand, build your customer base, and then slowly but surely branch out into whatever that is so that you can like kind of grow, organically grow uh, in a healthy way.